Hi there everyone, it's Gloria Kremer from Oakville, Canada. Today we're going to be making a four panel card uh, that fits inside a note sized uh, envelope. So like one of the little mini ones that's in the catalog. And this is part of my April 4th uh, butterfly bouquet um, product based online class. So when you get my kit, everything comes pre-cut, uh, pre-scored for you. Oh, so here's the envelope that I included. So this was a brown craft envelope. I'm not sure where it came from. I think it's retired now. Um, but my kits come with everything pre-cut, pre-scored, pre-punched. Uh, so it's easy for you to put together. Now, if it's your first time, you can find me on meetup.com under Oakville Creative Escapes. Um, I'm going to leave this over here. I don't know whether or not I'm going to stamp my sentiment today. Maybe I will. Um, I like the sentiment from this sweet strawberry set, so... I'm going to use that. So we have this little oval. I used the uh, double oval punch that's in the spring catalog. So this is the double oval punch. And it has like the oval here. And then it has um, the scalloped oval that's slightly bigger. Um, that it would nest inside. So I really like this punch. It's, I've used it quite often. Okay, so we're gonna stamp this. I'm gonna use crumb cake for my sentiment. Just because I have it out, you can use black, you can use pretty much any color you want. Um, but I'm just gonna show you what it looks like if you do it in crumb cake. So there it is in crumb cake. This one had black. So it's, it, I think I actually prefer the crumb cake. So there you go. Okay, so what I did for this card is I cut, and because I have all these pieces here, I went and cut the butterflies out. Um, of the piece that we're going to be covering up anyways. So there is one piece here. Oh, I guess for my my kit there's going to be I'm using this this side, I think. Sometimes I don't have the exact same DSP, so you'll just have to uh, but I make sure it all it'll still look good. So we're going to mat these. So each piece is going to be matted onto the Calypso Coral. Gosh, I, I just heard my, my stomach rumble. Hopefully the camera did not catch that. How horrible. Okay, now we're going to put the dimensional on the back of the sentiment. And we're just going to lay it down right here. We also have a butterfly that I'm going to put on a tiny, a small mini dimensional. And don't worry, we're going to be mounting this onto our card so it doesn't matter if it sort of falls off the side there. So it's still going to look perfectly fine. Sorry, I am like working in slow motion this morning. I don't know why. <laughs> 
It's Thursday. I don't usually film on a Thursday, but uh, it's raining out there. And it just seemed like a good day to film. Okay, so this is our card. You can. It doesn't really matter which way you put it. You could put it on this side. You could put it on this side. I have a really big butterfly here. So when you get your kit, just make sure all the pieces are sort of popped out. All the little scrappy pieces are, are punched out. I probably should have done this before I started the video. Oh well. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to glue this down using my Tombow glue. And I just put it down the middle because I want the wings to sort of fly up. And then I'm going to take my two champagne rhinestones and I'm just going to add one there and then add another one over here okay so now it's time for us to gosh you know what I put it on the wrong side oops okay so I put mine on the wrong side. On yours, you're going to have four panels on one side and then one on the other. So in my card, I'm going to have this and then three. So, haha, I guess it does make a difference which side you put it on. But that is okay. We haven't ruined the card. It just means I have one less panel. So I'm going to have I'm going to have four panels all together and you're going to have five. Unless of course you follow my directions here and you end up sticking it on the wrong side too. But you never know. This actually might look better. The fact that I did the mistake. There goes my stomach again. So this piece is going to go here. And then our final piece is going to go here. And I think I actually like this method better only because when I had it like this, the nice part and the nice front you couldn't really see. So I think I actually like it this way. But again, it's up to you to decide, I mean, how, how you want to put your card together.
So I, when I put these panels down, I try to just make sure that the edge around here, here, and here are about even. And I just eyeball it. If you're a real perfectionist and you want to make sure they're perfectly lined up, then you can always use a ruler. I just eyeball it. So again, I'm not going to stamp my inside because I don't really know what I want to put on there yet. I can put these butterflies in there. So when you glue your butterfly down, just make sure it's not where the fold line is. I think this one actually looks like a moth. Hopefully you didn't hear that stomach going again. <laughs> it's actually really loud. Okay, we're going to put this in right in the middle here. And then we do have a, I do have a piece of crinkle ribbon and I'll show you what you can do is, um, you can color it if you want. Um... I'm going to color on top of my scrap paper, and I am going to use, I don't know what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the dark pool party. You can leave it white as well, You can, or you can use like Calypso Coral, you could use Bermuda Bay. Um, it really doesn't matter what color you use. So, here is the finished card. I actually think this one looks better than the sample that I did, like this. So, if you're making this at home, follow these this video direction, and you'll uh, you'll your card will look like this. And then when you're done, you just take your ribbon. Which isn't always easy so you can you can skip this part as well if you don't uh, if you want but it's cute so there's your card it's all done ta-da and then when they get it they open up the ribbon they open up the card. You have this area here for them to write. If you need to write more, you have the entire back of the card to also write on as well. So there you go. Thanks again for, for watching. And uh, I hope you give this card a try. Uh, I didn't give the dimensions. I'll mention it. I'll write down the dimensions for this card. Uh, in the descriptions. If you're wondering what punch I used for the bottom of this, it is actually the Label Me Lovely Punch. And all I did was I held two panels together. I brought it up to the edge. Um, sorry, I'll show it to you here so you can see. So I brought it up to where this flat edge would start 
and then I just punch through two pieces of the cardstock and then I did the other side and did the same thing. So I found this punch really worked well. And again, that's the Label Me Lovely Punch. Okay, have an awesome Thursday. I have two more videos to make, so I will be back.